Hello everybody, I want to show you a new board for the Raspberry Pi. It's called the Piggyback Board and it has uh, the first component that's on the board is a RTC, it's a real-time clock and this is 100% compatible with a Linux operating system. That means that nobody has to write a driver because it's already there. So the Linux operating system is supporting that chip. Here is a battery backup for the uh, real-time clock. The second chip here, or component, is here an infrared receiver. So that means I know that uh, some people are developing for the Raspberry uh, Pi a driver um, for LIRC, L-I-R-C, which is uh, compatible to RASBMC and OpenELEC. That means that you can remote control your XBMC station with that board also. And the third chip is here. It's a wireless chip. It's available in 433 megahertz and also 868 megahertz. And here on the bottom side is here a wireless antenna for this chip. And this with this chip you can uh, remote control power switches or you can read out uh, smart meters for gas or um, electricity usage and the next one you see here is a huge area of a, of a breed board that means you can place your own components on it and can extend um, the functionality of the board itself. I did here some connectors here, four pin connectors, the white ones. Um, you can also see here, this is a standard connector on that. You can place it here on the breed board and you can use here these standard cables. You can see here with different connectors on it here. You can connect it here, put it on the, on the board and this one you can cut this away and can use different other breakout boards like this um, IMU or uh, with a, cheap, a GPS chip on it here you see here is the same cable I can plug it here and the next one here it's a servo controller you can see here the board with two servos connected and this is also the I square C bus I can plug it here this is the power source for the uh, for the servos and uh, this is for 5 volts or here there are different uh, breakout boards on the market available for a very low amount of, of, uh, of US dollars you can buy this um, I2C square hub this means you, uh, that means that you can uh, connect here several components on it like this IR transmitter chip here you can see this for instance, and uh, we can connect it, let's say, here with another cable. And this hub we can connect here directly to the Raspberry Pi. So we can also connect here the servo controller port. And this fits perfectly on, this is the Raspberry Pi, we just put it there. So, and that means you have a Raspberry Pi with a piggyback board, with the components are facing down here. It's a real small height here. You can see it puts perfectly in a standard case. We have here the extension of the IPC bus, the hub, different components on it and you see also on the other side this breed board. You see here the connectors to my um, to this um, to this connect to this white connector this is, uh, and here you see two opportunities to place additional sensors on it. This one, the bigger one, is for a pressure sensor uh, and the other one is a sensor where you can measure uh, humidity. So this is a perfect platform uh, to create a weather platform. Thanks for listening 
and in the next video you will see the piggyback board together with the Raspberry Pi in action.